I'm so excited as usual to be back with another video and this is Tony, this is, this is Inspired Generation as always. Thank you so much for the support, thank you so much for always being, you know, for always liking my videos and for always sharing my, uh, my videos with other people. I'm so grateful and uh, I can't appreciate much. The only thing that I can do is to provide information each and every day to you people whenever I get a chance, right? So today, as you can see, the, as you can see, the topic is why you won't win DV lottery. Why you won't win DV lottery? It's a kind of a tricky topic, but that is a fact. That is a fact. Rens, the David Ogeto, man, thanks so much, Shukran Sana, bro. Um, I do appreciate so much. So the the topic the topic today is why you won't win the DV lottery twenty I mean twenty twenty four and any other time not unless anything changes and this is so serious this is so important to you people for those people who haven't applied for the DV lottery this is a chance for you people to win thank you so much David I, I do appreciate man I'm you know I do appreciate so much so this is the reason and. Um, the only, thing, the only way that you can get to repay me, man, is to make sure that you like the video, is to make sure that you share with your friend, is to make sure that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to yet so that you can join the family and so that we can continue to grow together. So, the topic of today is so, so much important. And uh, I want to make sure that I share every detail that I can because there's a misery about the photo, all right? There's a mystery about the photo, and that is the code that we want to encode today, all right? That is the code that we want to encode today to make sure that you guys can get it right on the DV Lottery 2024 and the years to come, okay? So that is what we want to do. Just a minute, I just want to set uh, something here very, very quickly before we start. Um, before we start, but the mystery we are going to, you know, to, to discover today, the mystery that we're going to deal with today is the DV, I mean, is the DV lottery photo. I'm going to list the number of requirements, the things that you need to do so that you can get it right. Uh, Mombale in Kampala, thank you so much for joining Mombale. I do appreciate so much. So, though the, the, as I was saying, we're going to encode that today. And number one in that list, number one in that list, all right, the background of your photo of your DV lottery must be white. You know, in Kenya, where I come from, we are used to, you know, to blue background when you're talking, when you're taking a photo or a red background when you're taking a photo. No, your photo background must be white. There is no negotiation about that. It must be white. Okay, your passport. I mean, the background of your passport photo must be white. Anything that is not white, you're going to be disqualified. Remember, when you guys up, 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 you know, when you upload your application, when they get your application, remember, more than 20 million people apply for the DV lottery. All right? More than 20 million people apply for the DV lottery, and there are 50,000 slots to be won. So for those of us who have done business, you know, when the demand, when the supply is too high, you know, I mean, the, the thing of supply and demand, supply and demand, the supply, you know, the demand is too high, the supply is too low, the demand is the number of people who, have, who, are, who are doing the application, the supply is the, is the number of the slots that are available to be won, and so we have 20 million people, okay, 20 million people uh, as the number of people doing the application and we have 50,000 you know slot to be to be to be to be won right the supply is too much i mean uh, the demand is too high the supply is too low and of course the highest bidder is going to win and when they when we have such kind of a scenario then the price goes up all right and so anybody who has to win the one of the 50,000 slot then your your price has to go high you have to have, you have to be the highest bidder. And yeah, the highest bidder, we mean getting 100% of the photo requirement. That is include the background being white. And number two, 
the photo must be digital. And I think I need to make this clear today. You know, when we talk about the photo being digital, you know, you have to get that photo. When you go to the photo studio, you have to get that photo via email, all right? Either they put it on your US, USB, your USB, right? That is digital. Or they put it on the flash card, that is digital. Or they put it on a memory card, that is digital, all right? But don't go to the photo studio, take the photo, and then they print it to you, and then you take your photo, your phone, I'm sorry, and then you take your phone, and then you start snapping the photo. No, man, all right? You have, it has to be a digital photo, a digital photo. By that I mean when you go to the website, when you go to the website, you know, there's a, you get, as you're doing the application, you get to where you're supposed to upload your, 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 your photo, you have to get it from someplace, either from your email, you've downloaded it, you've downloaded that photo in your computer, you've saved it in some place, and then you can take it from there and then upload it while you're doing the application. Please make sure that, make sure that you, like the, uh, you like the video and tell me where, where you're watching this video from. I will appreciate so much. Tell me where you're watching the video from. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. And uh, I will appreciate so much. And number, another, another point. All right. When you're taking your photo, uh, Hada from Ghana, thank you so much. I do appreciate so much, John, uh, so much. So when you're taking a photo, you're not supposed to put on glasses. Okay. I hope that is clear you're not supposed to put on glasses. It doesn't matter even if you don't see well, I'm sorry about that, but when you're taking that photo, please don't put on your glasses. For those of you who have, who have already applied, I'm so sorry. Uh, Nakuru, thank you so much. Um, Panda from South Africa, I do appreciate so much. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, you know, I'm so much blessed. I th thank you so much. As I was saying, if you, if, when you're taking your photo, please don't put on your glasses, okay? Don't put on your glasses. Don't put on your glasses, all right? I think that is clear. And, um, and then um, another, another very, very important, another very important thing. I've been getting this question from so many people. Can I take the photo via the phone? Listen. Yes, uh, Sandra from Ghana, I do appreciate so much. And you people from Ghana, you're giving me too much love. You know, I, I, I appreciate so much. So, you can take your photo via the phone, but remember, it doesn't matter, you know, whatever the device that you're going to use when taking the photo. What matters is the quality of the photo. So, you can imagine somebody has an iPhone Pro Max, all right? iPhone Pro Max. Um, you know, I'm using iPhone actually to record this video. So, if you can imagine, somebody has an iPhone Pro Max and somebody else has a, you know, a very nice camera and then somebody has a, another phone. So the quality is, the, you know, somebody is going to take a photo via iPhone. Of course, the quality is going to be good. And this person increases the chances of winning the, the DV lottery. So that's why I've always been advising. It is good. It is good. You go to a studio, take a photo. It, it's not going to cost you too much. All right. This is a, you know, this is a chance of a lifetime. It's not going to cost you too much. Go to a photo studio, take a good and a very clear quality photo. All right? You can, uh, I mean, there is no harm on taking uh, it with your phone, but, you know, don't take any chances. Uh, as, I, as I have said, 20 million people applying for the DV lottery. So think about that. Think about that when you're, when you're taking that photo with your phone. <clears throat> okay? All right, and then uh, the other thing, um, you must, okay, when you're taking your photo, you have to look at the camera. You have to look at the camera. You have to, you know, the high contact with the lenses of the camera, all right? You have to look at the camera. If you don't do that, then my friend, you won't win the DV lottery. That's why I'm, I've always been t saying that you need to take a lot of time when, you know, dealing with a photo, okay? You can have uh, the, two, the two years work experience. You can be a high school graduate, a university graduate, but if your photo is not okay, then you won't win the DV lottery, 
that is that is a fact there is no negotiation about that and they are not sorry about it because i mean you want to come to their country and so you have to meet all the requirement okay so um then um, the other the other thing the other thing when you're taking your photo you must make sure that there is no shades no shadows as at the photo you know the background has to be clear your face has to be clear you know like right now you, if you watch if you see my photo because of the poor lighting you can see some shadows around my neck okay you can see some shadows around my neck so that by the virtue of having those shadows around my neck then that photo cannot qualify to be submitted for the dv lottery all right i hope that is clear i hope that is clear and then um all right the photo you know when you submit a photo it must to ha it must have a certain weight and the good thing about the weight you know when you upload they can tell you whether it exists the, the weight that is needed and of course and of course this weight has to be like 240 yeah 240 kilobytes all right kb so anything beyond that you know of course the system is going to let you know you know if it exists and then you can find a way to reduce to reduce the weight and of course when you're doing that please make sure that you don't distort the photo okay you have to be very careful on the photo okay and then the other the other factor you know that can make you not to win the dv lottery is all right the photo should not be older than than six months all right anything you know anything older than six months you know don't use it don't take any chances don't take any risk okay anything older than six months don't take any chances that is the thing all right so make sure that you take a clean photo and for those of you if you did a dv lottery for last year don't use the photo that you used last year you must you might be one of the examples of those people who are not going to win of course maybe some people have used the same photo and they have succeeded to win but please don't take any don't take any chances okay don't take any chances make sure um make sure that uh make sure that you yeah as i was saying make sure that you use a clear photo when take off a, a clear photo and i promise you 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 will increase your chances of winning the dv lottery 2024 all right you will increase the chances so um Yes, you will increase the chances. I, I was doing something on the computer. And then the other, the other, the other, the other factor, okay? Don't wear uniform. Don't wear a cap or a cape, okay? And, I mean, for those who are Islam and you wear hijab or nuns or you can, you can, you can have uniform. I mean, hijab, you can have, you can have it. That, that's okay. But... Under normal circumstances, I would advise not to do so, okay? But if it's something about religion, then I would. That, that's okay. But on, under normal circumstances, uh, situations, please don't put on your cape. Don't, you know, be in uniform. If you are a police person, if you are in military, you are a doctor, you know, by virtue of being a doctor or a military person, is not, is not going to increase the chances of you winning the visa. You know, it's going to... You know you will be disqualified because of that and as i said you know when all applications have been submitted you know they kind of do some shifting all right they do some shifting do that does this person have two years experience that this person is this person a, a high school graduate does this person photo you know qualify you know they check all those requirements and then the names of the people who have qualified in under those requirements are put in a pool or a system where the lottery is done okay so make sure that you don't put on uniform no caps hijab yes you know i think that is clear and then i've been getting people you know asking can i put on makeup yes you can put on makeup but you know not, not too much be as normal as possible okay because somebody said this is not a beauty contest okay this is not a beauty contest this is a dv lottery you know we have to be honest with each other 
these are these are DV lottery, so you have to make sure that you have to make sure. I mean, it's not too much. Be as normal as possible. I hope these points are clear. Please like the video. Like the video. If you join, let me know where you're watching this video from and like the video. I will appreciate so much. And then uh, for those of you who have dreams, you know, that there is no harm in that. Those who have long hair, long hair, there's nothing wrong with that. You can have that, but make sure that it doesn't cover your 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 ears, it doesn't cover your face, because your two ears, all right? Your two ears must be seen. Except even for those who wear hijab, you know, you must make sure that your your ears can be seen. Uh Agbol from uh from Cameroon, thank you so much, my brother. I think so. Yeah, thank you so much for joining. I do appreciate so much. So you must make sure that your ears has to be seen. So you have long, nice air. All right, make sure that it doesn't cover your face. It doesn't interfere with, any, with anything over here, right? Your ears should be seen and should be seen clearly. And then um, when, uh, when you're submitting your photo, the photo has to be in a portrait shape, okay? Portrait. Portrait. Portrait, it should be like this. Uh, this is a... Well, I, I think this is, is okay. Yeah, the portrait should be like this. Don't put your photo like this. Okay, this is horizontal. Okay, make sure that your photo is in a portrait. In a, in in a portrait when you're doing when you're doing you're uploading your you're uploading it. It has to be in portrait shape. Okay, and then you know make sure that your photo is you know proportionally you know. Don't take a photo that is, you know, that is, the, the, the shape is not even clear. You can't even know. You know, make sure that your photo, the photo, you know, when the photo is clear, let the guy that is taking the photo do a nice job, you know, so that when you are doing those editing or cropping, you have something that is, you know, something that is very proportionally, you know, that's why they have given a requirement of 600 by 600, you know, has to be very, yeah, very proportional, you know, 600 by 600, and the photo has to be clear, all right? Uh, and then the other thing, okay? I think we have talked about, you know, most of the critical part to do with the photo. Most of the critical part to do with the photo, and I think that is, that is very important, all right? I think that is very important because, so that you guys can know, you know, if you haven't applied for the DV law for years, Make sure that you spend a lot of time taking care of the photo, okay? Spend a lot of time taking, on, taking care of the photo because high school graduate, there is no argument about that. Two years work experience, there is no argument about that. But there is an argument about the photo. There is an argument about the photo. And this is the reason why most don't win the DV lottery. That's why the mo most people don't win the DV lottery. So be careful be watchful take a clear photo submit that that photo and you know when you do something and you feel you know this one i think i'm going to be selected and um, you know my prayer is come come next year may we will have people you know in this family people who have won the dv lottery and we'll be just celebrating and finding people to host them finding people to you know you know, advising you on the jobs that you can come and start doing on where you can come and settle down in this place. And, you know, I'm here with you, people. I hopefully, and my prayer is that God is going to keep me so that I can keep providing this information to you people. And I will do that. You know, I will keep doing that. So next year, you know, I want to have people in this channel, you know, people that we're going to host in this place, people that we will be advising on the kind of jobs that they can come, they can come and do, on the things that they're supposed to do once they get to this place. And that will be our joy. We will be celebrating. So that is my prayer. So that is it for today. And um, maybe quickly, uh, maybe quickly I can read, I can read some of your questions um, before, before we end this, okay? Uh, let me see. Okay, watching from Ghana, then uh, when I was filling the form, I read where it says schools of vocational are not allowed. I thought only primarily, primary, high school, no degree are the only levels. No, there's a part for vocational, uh, SM, SM, SVP. Um, I, can't, I, um, I can't remember very well, but there's a, there's a 
part. It it must be something a training of for. I will say this. It must be something that you've gone for training for more than for two years, okay, for two years. Uh, but of course, I think for mostly in most countries, anybody that qualifies to go to vacation, vocational training, most of them are, you know, you've 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 graduated, you've graduated from high school. So, if you are a high school graduate, then automatically you do qualify. You know, you, that that's what I can say about that. Uh, my photo is 800, 800. When uh, when I checked it from the photo tool, yes, um, anything actually 600 to 600 is the, is the lowest is the, the lowest that you can go, but it should not exceed 12 1200. Anything between 600, you know, 600, 600, 800, 800, and again, it has to be proportional. Okay, it has to be. I'm sorry, it has to be proportional. You're okay. Um, you're very okay. And then um, that was Caro. Yeah, you're very okay. Yeah, can you use it? Yes. Watching from Kenya. Uh, the uh, Watching from Kenya. Okay. Elosa, what if I apply with the photo of the last month? September? Yeah, September is okay. It's within uh, the gap of six months. And then uh, joining from, from Cameroon, thank you. Watching from Ghana, is there a photo tool in the website to be taken se seriously? Yes, I, on the DV lottery, I, o, o, on all the videos that I've shared, I've, you know, on all the videos that I've shared, there's a DV lottery link. And if you haven't seen it, please make sure that you text me. You can text me via Instagram. And of course, you guys can get into my Instagram. We can chat there. The Instagram is growing and growing big too. You can also get me on my Facebook at Tony Mudomi and we can, you can text me, we can chat. If it's something serious, I can create time and I will call you. All right. So yes, the, 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 there's a photo tool on the website that you can use to check your photo. Uh, is it true that the probability of low, the probability is low for people who haven't played yet? Uh, no, no, no. There's, uh, you know, this, this, this. It doesn't matter as long as you apply within the timelines. Of course, on November eighth, they, they will close the site for application. Of course, the earlier the better. But the thing is, you know, as long as you apply and uh, you meet the requirement that they need, then there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then um, joining from Kuwait, uh, joining from Kuwait. Uh, can you guys hear me? Uh, I think he is talking about network. Can you guys hear me? Uh, let me know. Can somebody comment? You know, I need to know if uh, my voice is clear. Uh, then how much would you charge if someone asks you to apply for for someone? Uh, I really, it's not something that I'm doing right now, but uh, you can uh, you can text me, oh, David. Uh, Davy, you can uh, you can text me. We can talk about that. I I really um I can't charge anything actually, but uh, yeah, you you can text me. Well, probably in future, yeah, probably in future, yeah. And then, uh, I buddy, can I be disqualified because of wrong box? Uh, please. Uh, well, the the, the Andres, Andres is not a big deal, but make sure that you put something that is authentic. If they want to send you the document, then they can send you the document. And then, uh, please, is it advisable for me to fill the form without my family? You can do that, but, you know, it becomes a problem if you want to come with them, if you get selected, all right? If you get selected, then it becomes a problem. So I would advise, if you're married, make sure that you include your wife. Well, if you don't want to come with them, then that's okay. And then um, uh, you are clear. Thank you. Thank you, my Jerry. Jerry. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Chum. Is it the system that sort out the photos? Yeah. So this is what happens. The DV lottery, it's not the people. It's a lottery. You know what happens in a lottery? It's not, you not, you know, they select the people that have qualified. You know, they have graduated from high school, two, two years work experience. Uh, the, the photo is good and then they put them in a system and so the system is going to do the selection 
Then I used my phone number. If uh, um, the Android section will leave. No, your phone number is okay. There's uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Is there a problem if I indicate the city of birth as known? No, there's no problem. If you are born in a village in the village like me, you put the city unknown. So there's nothing wrong with that, Enoch. Uh, yes, you're. You're very clear. Thank you. I do appreciate. I wanted to know that. I used my phone the number. No, we have talked about that. Uh, read mine on the photo. Where's yours, Andrew? I I can't see your question. I I can't, I can't see your question. Please, maybe you can type again the question before I end the video. Uh, which passport is used that is being? Jafed must. Which passport is used that is being said that without passport? No, this year. There's the difference between passport and passport photo. This year, you don't need a passport to apply for the DV lottery, but you need a passport photo. You go to go to you go to a studio and then you take a photo. A passport photo is like uh, like half half a photo. All right. I hope that is clear. What is the chance of winning if registered with no children or or no wife? The chances the chances is the same. You know the only thing that that gives somebody who is married an extra chance is um you know a higher chance is that both of them they can apply both the husband and wife can apply all right a husband can apply and apply for the wife and children as derivative and the same goes to the to the to the wife he can apply she can apply and then apply for the for the husband and, and children as a derivative derivative so any of them can win so that's how it's good for the people who are married all right I gave my email address. Please let's talk. Okay, uh, I'll check. I'll check that. Uh, okay, please advise. I have noticed that when I use the DV the DV photo tool and upload a picture measuring six hundred by six hundred is not working. Well, it's it, it, you know anything. It must be anything above six hundred. It can be accepted, but it should be the new the minimum. It should be between between six hundred and um, around twelve hundred. Please make sure. I'm not very sure uh, about the, the, I think it should be 1200, but I will link, I will share a link so that you guys can check the exact measurement. Okay? The exact measurement. Thank you, sir. You've answered my question. I do appreciate so much, uh, Jafed. Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. I can hear you loud. Thank you. Please, do you mean there won't be any problem if I used my phone number for the, no, you have to, you have to have a real address, not just the phone number. Just the phone. I think there is a section for the phone number and the address and then the phone number. And phone number actually is optional. Okay. Um, thank you, sir. So now I'm going to apply. I was only worried about the, pix the pixel 600. Yeah. So uh, actually, uh, to clear that, let me just check it for you before we end this live session. What is the... So the size can be, who size it can be 600 by 600 pixels or 1200 by 1200, anything between 600 and 1200. So I think that is clear. We are done with that. Anything between 600 to 1200. If it's 800, it should be 800 by 800, 600 by 600, 1200 by 1200. So anything between that. And th I think that is clear. Uh, okay. Okay, let me see. Before we close, please, can, can you please uh, tell me the estimated total cost of one person to come to the United States? We will talk about that, Mwambale. Mwambale. We will talk about that, and I promise I will share about that. You know, once we're done with this, you know, with this session, I will keep doing videos and videos about, you know, what you need to prepare after you win the DV lottery, how much you need, and what are you supposed to do exactly. Because remember, it's one thing winning the DV lottery, but it's another thing going to the embassy and getting that visa. Okay, will you, will they send anything to the mailing address? If you win, if you win, you know, if you win. Uh, Caro, I'm going to win, I will come and testify. I, of course, we want testimonies next year. We want testimonies next year. And, uh, uh, yeah, we want testimonies next year. So I just want to say this. Please, uh, for those of you who haven't have applied, 
make sure that you get your photo right and make sure that you take your time while doing the application. Take your time while doing the application and then one more thing before I end the video. Once you do the application, please make sure that you take the confirmation number. And the confirmation number, they don't send it to your email, okay? Remember that. There is no communication in your email. Even when you win, they don't send any, anything to your email. So when while you're doing the application, that's where you get on the page, that's where you get the confirmation number. You can print it and keep it so that next year, come on May, you use that confirmation number to check the results. Where well, there's a way that you can retrieve it, but to be on the safer side, please make sure that you keep your, your, you keep your confirmation number. So quickly, let me, uh, uh, we're gonna close this video in the next two minutes. So far, if you win, that means they will send you something to the mailing address, right? Uh, no, it, it's not, not necessary any document they need to send you. If, if you, you know, like the visa, you know, when you win the DV lottery, you go to the embassy, you get the visa, they can send you that visa to the, to the mailing address. Okay, what is the good moment or time to play lottery? Any time between, you still have time. We, are, we still have two weeks to go. And so guys, I think that is it for now. I will see you. And actually, I want to leave this a question to all you people who are watching. I'm thinking about a perfect day and a perfect time to do a live video. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put it on the community section so that you guys can vote. I need the day and um, a time. You know, and actually I will ask time because any day I can go with it. I just need the time because I know most of you, you're my brothers and sisters from, you know, from Africa. You know, I want to have a date, a time that is, you know, that is good for you people. So if you can make a comment on this video, on the date, on the time that you want me to be doing my live or to, to upload my video or to be doing my live, please, you know, leave that in the comment section. I'm also going to run you know, like a voting thing on the on the community, so that you can oh, you you guys can you can can mention. I mean, can vote on it. But you can text me even in on Messenger on Instagram. Tell me what time are you comfortable? You know, what time are you guys comfortable for me to do the live videos or to upload my videos? I will appreciate much. All right. And Kumarafiki zangu wa Kenya wa Tanzania Uganda nataka you know nataka ni same bit. I'm sorry for those guys who are watching from Ghana. I want to divert a little bit uh, before I go. Yeah, marafiki zangu, you know, wakutoka Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. Uh, niko na channel ingine, inaitua Tony Vlogging. Um, basically, mostly ni Swahili, ama Sheng. Na Apple, on that channel, tuna, we, tuna share, you know, the real issues za hapa US. You know, vile unaeza kuja, vile life wiku hapa, you know, anything, you know, real factors. You know, each channel is in the official sana. So, your channel, you know, we can, you know, to not find your stuff, you know, stuff mingi pale. So, I'm going to uh, to to have the link kwa Facebook yangu, also kwa community pale. Ngiene actually nili, nilieka iyo link kwa community. So, you guys, munaeza ingia pale and msa, you mu subscribe. You know, ndiyo tuweze, tu zindi kwele zana. Unajua sisi ni watu nyumbani lazima tusaidiane, right? You know, have a lot of support kutoka Ghana mazi. So, nyinyi ni watu wa nyumbani pia. So, kuna channel pale mfike and then um, tuweze kusupport yana. So, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much on Friday 5 p.m. Uh, so, keep, yeah, keep those comments coming about the time. About the time. And I will appreciate so much. So, thank you so much for the support, guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Of course, make sure that you like the video share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.